the guitar player on this. Whoever's playing guitar on this is dude. Killing it. Hey guys, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more Luna. And basically, after my last upload of Luna stuff, we had done some more lore and the last bit of the personality. We'll get to another guide at some point based off of the comments as well as some things that my um, my Luna guide has sent me, if you will. Um, so we're not quite there yet, but what he also did send me is a very well thought out list of every title or every song essentially that Luna's done, whether it's subunits, singles, anything of that nature. And he basically went through the whole list of every song that they've done and went through and crossed off everything that I've already done. So basically what we're starting with today is going all the way back towards the beginning and getting anything that I haven't done yet. So this video right here is the vivid acoustic mix of Heejin. It's just a clear or it's just a thumbnail. Um, there's no video or anything of that nature. Um, and then we'll have uh, a couple, we'll do two more vids for the day that will get us through the live or love and live album. And then we'll pick it back up from there when we get back to new Luna the next time. And we'll just do some B-sides probably for, you know, B-sides uh, for the next probably two or three Luna upload dates. And then we'll start getting into, you know, a B-side and then like some Corey or something like that. But without any further ado, it is Heejin. The hard wrecker and vivid the acoustic version let's go <laughs> Does, does the original version have this much vocal play as far as um, them messing with uh, slight vocal effects in terms of doubling and even uh, filtering her voice in and out at different spots? Because um, I don't remember if, if the original version had that or if it does, it might be slightly hidden from all the music going on as far as like the horns in the background. The burner, the burner, the burner, the burner, you know what I'm talking about? Um, this guitar melody, melody though is is really 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 beautiful. the guitar player on this say oh my god yes whoever's playing guitar on this is dude killing it oh my god yes say oh my goodness and i'm really curious did they just take her vocals from the original and just put this acoustic you know version to it or did she do some re-recording on some things you know if anybody knows let me know because i I'm, I'm just curious more than anything else Cause like I don't know if y'all can hear it right here, like though these last like ten seconds or so. Like in the very, very, it's almost like in the back of your head. When she says highlight, it's got like repeating in the back. It's very faint, but if you're really listening, you can hear it. It's really cool. They're creating layers with her voice. Um, and you know, keeping it just guitar and, and, and voice and, and really using everything that she has from her own vocal cords. Granted through tricks, if you will, a manipulation of recording to create more sonic space. It's really cool. Whoever just doing the guitars on this is killing it. 
I'd be very interested to know who the guitar player is for this, if there's more than one, because they've got to be studio musicians or something, and they probably done a lot of other stuff, and I'd be interested to find out what their other stuff is, because they're killing this right now. That was really fucking good. I don't know that I'm going to say that it's better than the normal version, but it's really fucking good. Like, I feel like I would almost listen to that more. Not because it's better. It's just a different vibe, and it's a vibe that I really like. Um, the guitar was really cool on it. I liked how they were playing with her vocal, too, to, like I said earlier, create more sonic space um, by using just her voice, whether, you know, taking some of the original recording and filtering it out or having her do some overdubs and things of that nature. It was just really, really cool, really interesting to, to fill the space sonically with only her voice and a guitar. There might have been some doubling on the guitars there to where, you know, there was, uh, you know, maybe only one guitarist, but he was playing two separate parts because of recording and things of that nature. But nonetheless, um, it's possible that that was all one guitar, but I'd have to listen to it again to really, you know, pick it all out. But I'm pretty sure there was multiple guitars being played at some point, whether it was recorded or not. But I really like this acoustic mix. I thought it was really, really interesting, really cool. Let me know what you guys thought about this one. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Cheers to you guys, and we'll see y'all in the next one.